Beautiful days ahead. The clock is ticking for voters who want to cast their ballots before Election Day. Early voting ends tomorrow. Our Ashley French has an update on how it's going so far and what you need to know when you head to the polls. Rainy cold weather, not stopping voters from heading to the polls to make sure their voices are heard in the primary election. It's important to make it come out here no matter what, no matter what the weather is. I thought it might be easier because the lines would be shorter and I got in and out real quickly so it worked out great. So far this year, Smith County has seen a decent turnout for early voting, a little over 13,500 voters, about a thousand more than 2018. Well, of early voting has been very, very steady at every one of our locations. We've already beat the early voting totals for 2018 and 2014, so numbers look really good. The turnout not as strong in Gray County with a 6% voter turnout, a number they think will remain pretty steady from previous years. Compared to our previous years, um, we're a little bit less than in um, 2018 and 2020, but we are... Um, more than 2014. So it's, we're kind of just like in the middle there. I think we're going to be doing about the same uh, for the last uh, two primary elections that we've had. Both voting locations are anticipating more voters to show up Friday, which is the final day for early voting. Uh, we're preparing each location. We've uh, staffed an extra member or two of our poll workers there just to, to try to help with the, the extra turnout, uh, try to get those voters moved in and out as quickly as possible. If you're still on the fence on voting in the primary election, here's what one voter had to say. If you don't vote, you don't have a voice. Okay, that's one thing. All right, you can't complain when something goes wrong if you don't vote. People have fought laws for us to get the right to vote. People have marched and everything for us the right to vote. So take the time out to go out and vote because you have that right. That's the only way we're going to make a change. Reporting in Tyler, I'm Ashley French for CBS 19. Thanks.